Well, hello, everybody. Finally, at long last, I am here to talk about Shazam! And yes, you do have to shout it. There's an exclamation point in the title. It's like, Mother! This was directed by David F. Sandberg and stars Zachary Levi, Mark Strong, and Asher Angel. Angel plays young Billy Batson, a child that has been in and out of foster homes for most of his life, as his mother just mysteriously disappeared one day, and his father, well, he was never in the picture. But one day, through a wacky turn of events, he stumbles upon an old wizard in the subway. As one does. And with his dying breath, this mysterious old wizard passes his powers on to Billy, which are activated whenever he says, Shazam! And that magic word instantly turns him into a 30-year-old superhero. And at first, it's all fun and games. Although occasionally a bit painful, he finds out the hard way that flying, even when you're a superhero, is not as easy as it looks. But then the supervillain, who inevitably turns up in these types of movies, inevitably turns up, and Billy has to learn how to be an actual hero. This was a lot of fun, and I would even go so far as to say this is the best movie in the DCEU to date. As much fun as Aquaman was, I would not necessarily call that a good movie. Shazam was fun and good. I'd even say it was better than Wonder Woman, which I also really liked and was also a good movie, but the third act was not as strong as it could have been. The climax just didn't really fit what it seemed like the movie was leading up to, and I suspect there may have been some studio meddling involved. The climax of Shazam, on the other hand, was just pure joy. In fact, pure joy is really a great way to describe the movie overall. I loved watching Billy learn how to use his newfound powers and his newfound adulthood, at least physically. Quite a few moments had me laughing my ass off. Uh, maybe a couple moments here and there where it drags a bit, but overall it's just a lot of fun. As I think we all assumed from the trailers, it's basically what if the Tom Hanks movie Big was a superhero movie, and there's even a nod to Big in this movie. And it turns out Big as a superhero movie works really well. Zachary Levi plays the titular character, and he does such a great job of playing this child trapped in a grown man's body, which is not an easy thing to do, as evidenced by Kevin Hart in Jumanji, but Levi just nails it. I especially love the scene with him and his friend Freddy, played by Jack Dylan Grazer, trying to buy beer from a convenience store. That entire sequence was just pure gold. I would not necessarily say he embodies all six of the mythological figures that Shazam is named after. Uh, the strength of Hercules? Sure. The wisdom of Solomon? Hmm, not so much. But this is an origin story, so I don't expect him to be there right away. He can work up to it. And more than being a movie about a boy trapped in a grown man's body, with superpowers, it's a movie about the importance of family. Billy ends up in a very diverse foster family, with Jerry from The Walking Dead as his foster father. Uh, all foster children should be so lucky. And while they try to give him as much love as they possibly can, he still spends much of the movie trying to find his biological mother. But ultimately, he realizes you don't necessarily need a biological relationship to be a family, which is a great message. And it's always nice to see a movie with multiple child characters where the child actors are actually good. Of course, Angel and Grazer spend the most time in the spotlight as Billy and superhero fanboy Freddy, and they were both really good, and I thoroughly enjoyed watching the highs and lows of their friendship. And Mark Strong as Dr. Savannah made for a damn good villain. He does have a tragic and sympathetic backstory, but unfortunately, that unhappy childhood teaches him all the wrong lessons, and he grows up to be a right bastard. And by the time he grows up, any sympathy he might have had just goes right out the window as do some of his victims. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said about this. If you have not seen the movie, you should. It's awesome. If you got kids, bring the kids. They'll love it. And of course, make sure you stay through the credits. There is a mid credit scene. There is a post credit scene. And that's all I got to say about Shazam! Till next time, take care.